Tonight, I catch my breath. A little message for you that I'm gonna bless you with. Oh yeah. But thanks for watching. So I'm Sterling Franklin. Some people call me the dancing preacher. I want to talk to you about something tonight called perfection. Well, think every time you saw it perfect on that screen, I was hitting a step within 33 milliseconds of where the exact beat is. And so, think about that. Wasn't perfection fun? I mean, really. Sometimes we strive and we, we want to be perfect. Whatever it is, whether DDR, school, a job, a family. But think of it this way. Here's some of my accomplishments. I have 466 triple A's. That means, and that's on the hardest difficulty on single mode in the arcade play. That's a lot, and it's taken a whole lot of hard work to get that. That means I hit every single step within 30th of a second, 33 milliseconds. And it feels good, it feels good to have perfection in some sense. I think entire, entire mixes of DDR getting all triple A's on in the songs. But I want to tell you something. We're not perfect. And sometimes we get good at things. We try so hard, we mess up. We're sinful beings. So we're human, essentially. We're not perfect. So even with this game, there's 33 milliseconds of leniency in understanding that we're human. And so even if I get a perfect score, if I get all perfects, whatever, all fantastics, if it's in the groove, think, we're not perfect. And even my score says so. So, can we, can we reach perfection? Absolutely not. Let me show you a story, the beauty of imperfection that we have. And that, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. The Spirit of God hovered over the face of the waters. Eventually, on the sixth day, man was created, man and woman. And they were created, they messed up, they disobeyed God's commands. And Romans 5 makes it clear, and our own actions, you know, how we obey the whole scripture. Can we say that we're guiltless before God? Absolutely not. As Romans 5 says, from one man sin entered the world and is upon everyone else, gener generationally speaking. We're tainted. We're not perfect. 33 milliseconds. Think, we can get so close to perfection. We can reach it. We can almost reach it. But it's like, a, it's like our big brother holding up a bunch of keys. And us being the little brother trying to jump for it. He's just going to pull it back up. We can't reach perfection. So, the beauty of it is that Jesus came. He lived a perfect life. He died in our place. Died for my sins. So that in my imperfection, I might one day see God through him. And it's clear in 2 Corinthians that we are made blameless. We are justified through his work on the cross. And Romans 5. Through one man sin entered the world. Through one man, sin was redeemed through Jesus Christ. Jesus came, lived a perfect life. This goes back to the Old Testament, too. So think of it. Right after Adam and Eve sinned, you know that whole, that whole story. They disobeyed God. They ate, from, they ate the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So they messed up. They messed up with God. They disobeyed God. The penalty for that is death. Romans 6.23, the wages of sin is death. That's the first part. I'll get to the second part later. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. They fall short of the glory of God. Fall on their face. Because we can't reach God in our own imperfection. It has to be through Jesus. But hey, let's continue with Adam and Eve. I'm getting excited here. Oh yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, Adam and Eve messed up. God instituted the first animal sacrifices. Because God was saying, these people are not perfect. These people are sinful. They've disobeyed me. And so in their imperfection, in the, in the human's imperfection, God did the first animal sacrifice. And the thing was, that took the place of a single sin or you know, a set of sins. You have the whole Old Testament. Every time you broke a law, every time you disobeyed God, every time you had a sinful thought, even if you thought of cheating on a test, you thought of taking someone's anything, if you, if you lusted after that, if you coveted, even that, that's breaking, as James says, the entire law. And that you're disobeying God and you're guilty. And the penalty for that is death. And so God instituted the animal sacrifice in the Old Testament. And it was exciting because we could, okay, we could be made holy for, for a while. Okay, so then when the fullness of time came, there was one that was born under law. Born of a woman, born under law, to redeem those under the law that we might become children of God. Jesus came. He lived a perfect life. He was human. 
He was also divine. He was also fully God. And the beauty of it is, Jesus died in our place. He was the animal sacrifice made perfect. Because sacrifices took place for sins for a while. But Jesus died for sins once and for all. And so, really, if you have any complacency in your heart about God, get rid of it. Because Jesus died for us. He lived a perfect life. He didn't deserve to die. And yet he died for us once and for all. And so, I stand before you. I'm, I'm good at this game. But you know what? I'm not perfect. None of us are. And yet, some, some get a chuckle out of it because it is a little corny with the old DDR thing. But you know what? I'm a redeemed. I'm a redeemed sinner. And even though I'm not perfect, I have one who is faithful and just to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me of my unrighteousness, Jesus Christ. And the beauty of it is, you know, we are saved by grace through faith, not of, our, not of ourselves. It's the gift of God so that no one, no one can boast. Not of works. Grace through faith, not of works. So I can be as perfect as I can in this game. You can be as perfect as you want to be with your own job, your school, whatever. But hey, turn to Jesus because we're not perfect. And that belief in Him, faith in Him, accepting Him as your Lord and Savior, if you haven't done it tonight, or if you need to recommit and you haven't yet, I know that Nick just gave a message. It was wonderful. And I know some of you just got here. doesn't matter what time today is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians 6, 2. Beautiful verse. That giving your heart to Him. Confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believing in your heart that God raised Him from the dead. You'll be saved. Romans 10, 9. And we know that all things work for good to those who love the Lord. Romans 8, 28. So, I tell you what, let's take a little bit of time to pray. You can hang out with me. I'll be out in the crowd in a little bit. Inside, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully I'm an encouragement to you. And, and hey, if you want to you follow along then, and haven't already, or, you know, if you want to take it to another level, if you want to realize that you're imperfect, but it's only through grace, through faith, that you're saved, then uh, pray along with me. But uh, God bless you. I'm DJ Sturf. I'm also known as a dancing preacher. You can find me on anywhere, YouTube, whatever. <laughs> My site. I don't want to advertise. But God bless you, and, uh, and let's pray. Father, thank you so much for sending Jesus to die for our sins. And Lord Jesus, if there's anyone here who has not accepted Christ yet, or have not had a full, fresh recommitment in their life, so Lord, I pray, Lord, that in this silence, and we'll take some silence here, if this Recommit your life to the Lord. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Ask Him to forgive your sins. Come into your heart. Because He died for you. Because we couldn't do it in our own imperfection. So let's take about 15 seconds and see if we can get our hearts right before God. Thank you so much again, in Jesus' name. Amen. And sorry, Nick, I took a, took a while on this one, but I love you, Dickinson State. God bless you all. <laughs>